If you follow all of the best practice when you go to a networking event in terms of planning your, 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 your day before you go, approaching people in the right way, getting into the right conversation, showing an interest in them, and you hit the right rapport and you exchange business cards, you're doing really well. And then it's so easy to throw it out of the window and make all of that effort totally valueless. The one thing above anything else that you must do in your networking is follow up. In his book, Never Eat Alone, Keith Ferrazzi calls follow up the hammer and the nails in your networking toolkit. Try and build a house without them. You're going to struggle. So what can you do to follow up effectively? There are, there are some simple things. I think you need to add some process to it. Uh, one attendee at one of my training courses told me that he uses what he calls the 24-7-30 approach. When he's first met someone, he follows up within 24 hours. He then follows up again after seven days and once more at the end of the month. After those three touches from him, the person he's met is now no longer a stranger they're part of his network now it's important that you don't do the same thing with every connection you know drop him an email after 24 hours seven days and 30 days because that will feel very automated in never eat alone Keith Ferrazzi says that with his key contacts he, he, he connects with them every single month but in a different way each month so with someone he might call them one month email them the next meet them in person the next and then over the next quarter he'll do the same again but in a different order so you can add process to your follow-up and you can make it seem natural so that you draw people into your network and they remember you and that's really important bear in mind it's not what you know or who you know it's who knows you and who remembers you